Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In the last part, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we, well, okay. Sean Ripperoni, for starters. Madness. Walking down the street, things are feeling a bit off. Hmm, what's going on here? Sean turns around, starts to say a sentence, boom, done. Capped right in the head. Unbelievable scenes and then... We've returned to camp after a big old shootout to discover that little Jack Marston has been kidnapped by the Braithwaites. So we head as our whole gang, essentially. Not, not quite the entire gang, but as a large part of our gang. All head over to Braithwaite Manor, burn the place to the ground, and discover that uh, Jack is now in Saint-Denis. In theory, at least. So we've upped sticks, headed a bit closer to there, and we will be... Starting there today, and when we left off, I'd just been in the tailors, but I didn't really change much. After I stopped recording, I was like, nah, I want to actually have another look at this. But d it's kind of dull to watch someone just browse catalogues for ages, deciding and on what their look's going to be. And I'd done a lot of that at the end of the last part, so I figured I'd do that off camera. But I did eventually decide on a new look for Arthur, which we are about to debut when this thing would ever like to uh, load up. Hope you're ready. I'm looking pretty fly. I'm very much liking the transition from the massively bearded, scruffy, dangerous looking, sort of more rabid looking Arthur in uh, in the initial three chapters. I'm definitely liking the transition from that to what we have now, which is the suave, gunslinging man about town. Do you like that look? This is actually quite a cool... I quite like that as a like a screenshot. Everything's quite nicely placed. But yeah, I like this look. It's cool little cool little colors, design, outfit, the hat. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at now. Hope you uh don't mind too much that I did a lot of deliberation off camera, but it would have been like 10 to 15 minutes of me just looking through menus going, "Hmm, I don't know." So I think it is better this way. Hello, sir. You're pretty good. I'll give you I'll give you that. You are pretty good. Okay, so So, we have a whole buttload of things to do here in Sundany. Uh I could have sworn there were more um question marks over here. I don't think I did any stranger missions, did I? I'm pretty sure there were like 3 over this way, but I guess maybe time of day means that they aren't available right now. Um so, is there any other main missions? Oh, there is, there is. There's this one, Mary Beth. And, of course, there's Money Lending and Other Sins 5, which I think the last time we left off with the Money Lending one, uh, the kid, uh, we went to collect that, de that debt from the family of the dude who died, and the kid was like, I'ma get you, bitch. So, we'll see how that turns out. Of course, up here, we still have Albert Mason, Needing help with his photography, well, he's going to be waiting a while because I don't see myself making that trek. Thanks for everyone who stuck through with the massive ride up and down back here when I was just talking about Fallout the whole time. I really did not know uh, what else to talk about during that, but I didn't want to cut it out. I don't know. It's tough sometimes to know what you should and shouldn't cut out. Anyway, enough waffling. Uh, onwards. Onwards. It's a bit warmer today here in England. It is a Sunday, so it's the weekend, but you've got the dread of tomorrow coming up. <laughs> New working week. However, tomorrow... Wait, where am I going again? Just down here. Uh, tomorrow will be my one-year anniversary. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Uh, sure. Oh, wait, this is the stranger. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Go for it. Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. We're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Sounds like a good Can you help? good purpose. A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20. $20 in this time was a madness. But I have money flowing out of my ass right now, so Oh. <laughs> 39.7% completion, apparently. Sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. 
What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your loot <laughs> will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Thanks, you too. I can loot that, no. I'm not a dickhead. Well, I am a bit of a dickhead, but I'm not that much of a dickhead. Okay, well, that was a nice and easy start then. Shall we pop along down here and try the other one out? Sounds like Hello. a plan to me. How are you today? Wait, did she just become a regular person asking for donations now? <laughs> I think that might be what happened. Hmm. Right, uh, it looks like it's just down here, doesn't it? Wow. What the hell? I just got this shirt. Oh, I'm very sorry about that, dude. Uh, wait, where did it go? No, I must be looking at... Oh, no, I think I was looking at the money lending and other sins thing, maybe. So it's down here somewhere? Hopefully it'll pop up on the minimap soon. Um, don't want it to have disappeared by the time I get there. Oh no, has it disappeared? Oh, it actually has. I get it must be a time of day related thing. Okay. Well, bollocks. <laughs> I just missed it, I suppose. Oh well. Um, onwards then to Dutch Vandalin, Angelo Bronte, a man of honour. Okay, we're about to meet the big man. God damn it. <laughs> In the back of my mind, I was like, was that the Strauss mission I saw that disappeared off the minimap or something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a big no. Oh, well. Hopefully, it'll pop back up later. We shall find out. Hey, look out. You look out. What, the hell? what in the hell? Pace, 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 pace. I should eat, actually. Look how low my cores are. Um, sure, some of that. And then a bit more of that. And then we need a bit of stamina stuff, too. So, what shall we go for? I forget. Is there anything that specifically does stamina? There's not, is there? Which I feel like is... A mistake. And these aren't. Yeah. Uh. I mean, sure, that'll do. Okay, here we go. There's Dutchy boy. Get rid of this marker. There we go. Here it is. Angelo Bronte, a man of honor. There you are. Your boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, Looking pretty good there, John. We go pretty fly. Shooting up the place. Me and, me and Dutch, though, we take it to another level now. I'm on Dutch's level of class with our, with how I'm dressing now. Oh, yeah, because charm is our usual, you know, prominent plan. Just a charm offensive right here. Hello, good sir. Good day. Topping. What ho? Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Okay. As I said, charm offensive. <laughs> Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. Yeah, look at me and Dutch. We're just I a terrible it. twosome right here. Put your hands up. <laughs> Looks like he was trying to tickle Dutch's armpit, Dutch's armpit then. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. So oh yeah. Peace. Yeah. We just smashed that guard's head against the gate in peace. Right. Angelo Bronte, mate. What are you all about? 
And can we have our kid back? I mean, he probably doesn't have him anymore, I'm guessing. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Oh. So, you walk into my seat. Stinking of shit and looking. Mate, I gotta clean. You come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? All right. Indeed, you have. That's a bit much. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. Twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> That's an embarrassing woman. Okay, that was Angela unexpected. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> that was very unexpected, and I'm not sure if he's faking it. So, uh, can my friend... Have his son. Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, but should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Okay, I mean, Salute. this is probably about as good as it could have possibly gone. Oh man, look at the glow from these streetlights. That's just gorgeous, just that shot down the road. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? Man, no this game is so well what made. Do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. Okay. Come on, then. After you. <clears throat> you oh, a little something in my throat there. I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. Everything in San Denis no. seems impressive. You did good. Stop holding your tongue in there. Yeah, I was you kind of expecting an outburst. Word that comes out of that bastard's mouth. Yeah, I don't, don't know. Even know where Jack is. Listen. We found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. Like we could have all died. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. Well, we know he will be, because we know he survives figured, to the original the bright game. The were going to hold Jack Rance for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Hopefully Dutch can handle the rest. 
Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Okie dokie. Oh wait, was I supposed to hitch mine the other side? Ah. You know what? I honestly didn't even see this hitching post. It blends in so well. Dark against dark. All oh, right, weapons. Gotta, gotta get back in the swing of things. Uh, bolt action rifle, Lancaster repeater. That's actually pretty good. Midnight's pistol, Catamaran revolver. Not that I ever dual wield. But yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. All things considered. Man, I just look so fly right now. I really love the change this as we way. go from out on the, on in the country to city living. Feels good. Feels oh, right. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Oh, grave robbers! Where are you? Oh, is that someone down there? Head towards the dog, I assume, is what we are aiming for. Oh. What was what? John, where have you gone? Oh, man. We're about to have a shootout in a fucking cemetery. Shush. Uh, hello? Hey there, boy. Let's keep going. You're gonna lead us to your to your masters? Oh, there's John. Uh, I think I hear them. Sounds like they're around here. Oh, oh. sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Our friend died. I'm sorry to hear that, man. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should uh. get yourself home. Mm. I think I see something. Why'd you see it? Because I lost the dog. I think I was supposed to follow the dog, but I'm not sure where he went. Where he went. That sounds like a different dog. Uh, John? <laughs> Are you sure about this? I'm not so sure about that, John. I'm not sure how I feel. Oh, shit. What is going on over here then? Hey, John. Over here. Oh boy. Surprise, motherfucker. Uh what? Oh shit. <laughs> that did not go as planned, hey? Missed. Okay. I look so cool. Just gotta take a moment to look at how cool I look. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Damn it. Got his fucking hat. There we go. Oh shit! Oh my god, I can't get a shot off of this dude. Oh my god, I genuinely... Okay, you know what? We're just going to beat the shit out of him then, I guess. I genuinely... He's just knocking all my guns out of my hand. Jesus. 
Jesus. Okay. Pick up the pistol. Pick up the revolver. Pick up my fucking hat. Okay. Get the pistol back out. Hello. Come on. You know you want to poke your head out, friend. No? Okay. Let me loot your buddy right here. Man. Just could not get the fucking drawer on him. $22. Jesus. That's about $22 more than I'd have got if I looted his corpse in Red Dead Online. <laughs> Wait, is that... How did he get around me? I haven't played Red Dead Online and I don't think I intend to. Uh, but I've heard that the economy is absolutely fucked in that game. Well, in this game. Like, you know. In the online part of this game. Find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. Yeah, we will. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. They shot at us from like somewhere over here, right? Yeah, behind me. Okay. Come on. Where the stash shot. That spot where it all kicked off. Uh, so like in the center here. Think there might be something in here. Aha. Did I just hear the whistles of... Yeah, I just heard the whistles of the popo. Time to fuck off. Time to fuck off. Oh, shit. That is not what I want to hear, John. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say, man. Shit. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Okay. He's he's off. I wonder if we actually killed someone there. Or whether that's scripted and there's always a body there, regardless of anyone actually died at that specific point. Come on. On your mark, John, I'm I'm leaving this one all to you. Sneaky sneaks. This is so tense. I feel like fully like tensed up right now. I did not expect to be feeling like this after just 20 minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How is this game so good? Nice. Okay. Yes. Leave that gate. Do it. Okay. We're ready, John? I think we're ready. I think we're good to go. Come on. On your mark. There we go. Come on. Nicely done. That was, that was a smooth operation. You've been hit by a smooth criminal. Indeed it is. Oh man, this is beautiful. Look at this. This is just gorgeous. Just the atmosphere and the trees either side of the road and the glow of the lamps at night. Oh man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You alright? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said. Come on, Arthur. There. Oh, this game is something special, man. 
It really is. <laughs> like, I've said it so many times, and I will continue to say it until we end, I think, because this is just... It's just amazing. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said, you took your time. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. Okay. Fine, man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> Come on. Man, that guard whose head we smashed against Mr. the gate must be Bronte, real mad that we had no consequences. <laughs> party at the mayor's house. Oh, he did, did he? <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. A garden party at the mayor's house. That can't go well. <laughs> There's no way that can turn out well, right? <laughs> we have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. What is that tall light on the left over there? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. Really? And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. So they actually treat him well. Papa Bronte teach me lots of hmm. words. Taught. Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And fantafola? A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Mm. Oh, yes. Well, that I does make me... Time, but I can't wait to see Mama. That does make me feel more friendly sure towards did. Bonte. That he was actually... He wasn't just keeping know. him locked up somewhere. He was actually treating him well. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which one? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. We dealt with him That's real good. Would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Sorry, Jack, mate. This one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. Of course you did. <laughs> yeah, bath is a foreign concept to these guys. <laughs> Wonder if I can have a bath anywhere. Because that would... I've got my new duds. I'm all kitted out in finery. Got a nice shave, so I'm looking much more... Uh, much less rough, I guess. But I probably could do with a bit of a wash. <laughs> Everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. It's how <laughs> You ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. You are very welcome. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? Hey, Hosea. Thanks. It's been a while since we've seen Hosea. Abigail. Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <sighs> yes. He is, uh, he is quite a character. Yes, yeah, that is that is definitely a way to describe him. Strong man before. <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. You're welcome, Boys, Dutch. We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Well, look, oh man, 
It looks like we are starting to reforge that bond with John that we seem to have lost at the start of the game. What was it? Uh, complete within 10 minutes 40. That was the only thing I missed. Oh well. Oh, this is cute. Is that Bill just sat on his own at the table? Come be round the fire, man. This is lovely. Look at everyone. Man, I... This is so good. <laughs> oh, there aren't words to describe. You really feel part of something. I... Oh, man, it's... It's amazing. It really is. What an achievement. Okay. What is next, then? I think we're going to have to sleep through the night because everyone's having a moment, so the missions have gone. Drinking. is <laughs> Drinking wasn't a thing before, was it? There's two drinking spots. Grub, provisions, ammo, health stuff. Okay, let's stock up, shall we? Get the provisions in. been a while since we did a full take of everything I believe although I might not remember it because <laughs> I haven't played for like a week uh, apples we're full on them sorted biscuits it's my favorite kind of biscuits assorted salted offal <laughs> that's my favorite kind of cocaine <laughs> okay uh, anything on this table Chewing tobacco, we got all of that. Hey, yeah, uh, you got anything to say? No. Is that Sadie? I think that's Sadie. Ooh, a bit of beer. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's for now. Lovely. Okay. Got the medical tent over here. Bitters. And take the rum. Hello, Strauss. I wish you'd just give me your mission. You're not even... My mistake, Mr. Strauss. You're not even bothering to... have the party, Strauss. You can join... Me on a little mission or something? I think I'm going the long way around here. <laughs> Whoops. Oh wait, is it inside? Oh, it's inside. Oh, okay. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. Hello. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. I'm trying, Dutch. I'm trying to have faith in you. Okay, so the ammo store's upstairs, which I'm not sure I'm a massive fan of. <laughs> Bit of a way to walk, to stock up. What was I inspecting there? Arthur's father? Oh, shit. Lyle Morgan. Arthur's dog. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, man. Hosea, Dutch, and Arthur. It's kind of hard to see uh, Hosea. But look at Dutch all young there. Man. That's cool. That is a cool inclusion. Uh, right, ammo. Where was the ammo then? Aha, right behind me. 
some arrows. Don't mind if I do. Can't take any more throwing knives. Wait, is that all there is? Hmm. I guess there's no bullet ammo? Right, okay, well then let's end the day. Have a good old sleep. Uh, let's just have a full sleep, why not? Get well rested for the coming days, because Lord knows shit's going to go down eventually, as it always does. Escalation. A letter has arrived for you. Return to camp to read it. Well, good thing I'm already here. <laughs>